Rewilding is one of the best topics in nature conservation. It's the return of an area to its natural state without or with very little human interference. It naturally preserves and increases biodiversity. Biodiversity is the variety of plants and animals in an area. Increasing biodiversity requires a variety of habitats that will attract different species. Symbiotic relationships enable our planet to remain inhabitable. Entire ecosystems are built up of the millions of complex interactions between organisms and their physical environments. By rewilding an ecosystem, we are allowing relationships to form as naturally as possible. These webs of interdependencies play a fundamental role in raising the level of biodiversity in the UK. Humans have destroyed many key features of natural landscapes. Interactions with the environment, like farming and forestry, seek to control nature and claim resources. In Europe, you'll struggle to find a landscape that isn't dominated by farming, commercial forestry or urban areas. Rewilding is about radical change and therefore threatening. People are scared of the unpredictability of rewilding and the untidiness of the wild natural environment. What appears to be destructive and untidy may be a beneficial ecological change. The upturning of soil by wild boar is often viewed as destructive to a landscape. This behaviour naturally ploughs and fertilises the soil. It brings out the insects which attract birds. The dug up areas can also become ponds and mini wetlands. It creates a mosaic of tiny ecological niches. And these are so important to increasing biodiversity. This need for tidiness makes rewilding harder to do in nature reserves that require public support. Every urban park could have more uncut and unkempt grassland and every nature reserve could move towards unmanaged areas. UK national parks could become major centres of rewilding with natural tree lines, native species like the pine martin and the beaver. Rewilding is an exciting part of our future, provided we act now. Some great projects are happening across the country. Let's hope for some radical rewilding that benefits wildlife and people and lose the pretty garden culture Britain is so obsessed with.